here we'll see our first method for solving differential equations. And this will be probably the simplest method because it's one that we already have done. There's nothing new here. We're simply going to integrate to solve. Now notice carefully the form of this differential equation. We have y prime equals a function that only involves our independent variable t and doesn't have any y's on the right side. If you had y prime equals something that involved y or both t and y, this approach would not work. So this solving by integration only works when we have y prime equals some expression just involving our independent variable. So make sure you take note of that so that you don't try to use this integration method on other differential equations that we'll encounter in other sections. So ones that fit this very specific form, we can simply integrate to find the solution. So if y prime equals 3 plus e to the negative 2t, then y must equal the integral of all this with respect to that independent variable. And if there was an x instead of a t, we would use dx because then x would be our independent variable. So solving this is as simple as integrating. When we integrate 3, we get 3t. When we integrate e to the negative 2t, we get negative 1 half e to the negative 2t. And that's a simple u substitution problem or one that you can simply recognize the form as something we've done before. And then of course, there's a plus c involved. So there's our general solution. And if we were given initial conditions, we could find a specific solution that matched the given initial condition. So for example, let's say we want to find a specific solution to the equation y prime equals sine of x plus cosine of 2x. And suppose we're given the initial condition that y of 0 equals 4. So again, notice that there's no y's on the right side. It's simply x's on the right side, and then we have y prime on the left side. So we can integrate both sides. y equals the integral of sine of x plus cosine of 2x dx. And of course, integrating sine of x simply gives us negative cosine of x. Integrating cosine of 2x gives us 1 half sine of 2x and then plus c at the end. Again, if you need to review those integrals and pause and do them more slowly, feel free to. But then, knowing the information about the initial condition that we're given, we can solve for this constant c by plugging in 0 for x and 4 for y. So 4 equals negative cosine of 0 plus 1 half sine of 2 times 0, which is just 0, plus c. Now, of course, sine of 0 is 0, and cosine of 0 is 1. So we have 4 equals negative 1 plus c, or c equals 5. So the specific solution would be y equals negative cosine of x plus 1 half sine of 2x plus 5. So if you're given a differential equation that you can solve by integrating and also an initial condition, you can find not only the general solution, but even the specific solution as well. Let's do one more example of this. Suppose we are given a second order differential equation like this. So suppose we're given y double prime equals 20e to the 4t plus sine of 6t. We can do the same thing we've done before, but notice that we'll have to integrate twice. After we integrate the first time, we'll have the value of y prime, and then integrating a second time will give us the value of y. So y prime equals the integral of 20e to the 4t plus sine of 6t. That would simply be 5e to the 4t 
minus one sixth cosine of six t plus c, and then y would be the integral of that. So integrating again, we would get five fourths e to the four t minus one over 36 sine of six t plus c times t, and then we need another arbitrary constant. So let's call this first c, c1, and then we'll have plus c2. And again, you can see how a second order differential equation will have two arbitrary constants that appear in the general solution. And then if we were given two initial conditions, we could solve for those two constants in the general solution. So we've seen a few things that we can do with basic differential equations. We can verify solutions, we can find specific solutions if we're given general solutions and initial conditions, and we can solve a few simple ones if they fit this form where we can integrate because the right hand side of the equation only involves the independent variable x or t and the left hand side only involves y prime or y double prime. If that's the case, we can solve by integrating like in these examples here.